Hello everyone, Terry Cruz here, and this is NHL 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Terry Cruz and Son of Beast here, and we finally have made it to the last game of the NHL 24 on EA Sports. It's time now, as this one will be all for everything. The last game of the season in Season 3. As right now, the next matchup is we are about to see what goes next with the Stanley Cup playoffs on NHL 24 will be the next stop here for the postseason. And I can't gather enough. It has been a one heck of a night. And I have really enjoyed everybody for us who like this video. And also the NHL Rival Week will still continue. And in the last one will appearance to take all from ahead. So it is time now to meet your last two teams in game 16. We've got Vancouver Canucks and they are facing against Minnesota Wilds, another Canadian versus the American team. Now it's time to see what happens now. The starting goaltender will be all for everything of Marc-Andre Fleury and the other side of the Canucks it all goes with Thatcher Demko. Let's start off with the Vancouver Canucks on this side first. He called for Elias Patterson. He made a snipe to take all of his response, and all it takes all of him to take one of his better techniques of the score. The angle is not really a match to be anybody else who wants to take over it, but you can't just tell them how much are they're gonna get. While this offense may be a puck settling to do for Patterson, but his night might be a day to do for our next one. And their team ready to advance to the Stanley Cup playoffs. And right now we have so also have a other one to take. Meet the one and only, another Quinn Brothers. Of the Goose, it's Quinn Goose. Now this is another one, the third Goose of the Brother team, as we always have called it. They played again with the Canucks and the Devils on both teams. Two players on the Devils and one player on Vancouver Canucks. They were not the only guy that you ever see what was going to happen with Quinn Coos and he's got Ely edges just like Jack Coos. Now I'm not really entirely sure if this will ever happen again but let me tell you this it's all because of what Quinn Coos does. If he has some direction change he might do for his ability to try to keep on going. And your superstar players we have is JT Miller. Unfortunately, his night is already coming down to the least of the X-Factor players. We'll find out if he stays long with the season with the Vancouver Canucks. Also with Thatcher Gemko, the starting goaltender, and Andre Kuzmenko on the other side. And finally, Elia Mikhaev. Now it lets me your home team of the Minnesota Wilds, starting off with Spurgeon. You can always say that Spurgeon really has it all turning into being one of his best. But who is the only player? Kirill Kaprizov. Ily Edges also does the same thing that happens to be one of most of the time. But in that case, he might have a little different to maintain it on its own. What do you think this will happen now? Well, maybe Kirill Kaprizov, we don't know what will happen. But hey, let me tell you this, Kirill Kaprizov might go for it again. And we'll find out what happens if something occurs goes with their team to do their offense more. We also have Matt Zuccarello, the third eye and take the tape feed. Jared Spurgeon with only with Spurgeon with stick him up, ice pack and quick pick. Jonas Brodin with a shutdown stick him up in reverse and quick pick. Joel Erickson Eck with a take the tape. No contest and ice pack with relentless and finally we have is Matthew Baldy. Along with Marc-Andre Fleury and here's one thing we call for, Philip Gustafson. Only sponge. Great rebound to control it, but it may not be enough hard enough to take from here. And last but not least is Frederick Guterov. He goes with all alone with the great breakaway finishes, and that's what happens most of the team. Now it's time to step in now to Minnesota of XL Energy Arena. Setting him by a hat is Jay Sabalski, along with Cheryl and Kara. It's on the center ice with the team to go with the commentaries in between the players and zone. And we will be back with our post-game show for our three-star players and total statistics in between. 
Now let's get going. It's the last team to remember of. Vancouver and Minnesota. Time to send you over to Minnesota. See you later after the game. Hi everybody, welcome back to EA Sports. We are in the state of hockey. Yes, we are in the Twin Cities of Minnesota and I can't wait for this. The officials there are set and I think we are about to get this one away. The Lions have won their own face off and take possession here at the start. And now it looks like something in the control zone.
That's a big takedown. Wow. I've never seen how much that I've gotten ahead. That's a big group. That's a big play all the way around. And the puck leaves the zone. The Canucks 
gained control of the puck. And he'll send it right back to him. Vancouver Canucks power play goal. His fourth goal of the season, scored by number eight, Connor Garland. His first is assisted a major in a career by number 23, John Mederville, and by number 63, Carla Bozer. Time of the goal, 14.45 remaining in the first period of the game. With the time of the goal, number, yeah, number eight, with only 14.18 remaining. And with the Emmanuel number 43, and number 63, with 1439. Thirteen remaining in the first period of the game. Scored here by number 46, with only 4.42 remaining in the first period. Mixed up with a battle for the puck along the wall. 
The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. That's blocked. And the play continues. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. And he comes up on a blue save. in the first period. Oh, my 
Vancouver goal, the second goal of the season, scored by number eight, Connor Garland. Time of the goal for the Vancouver Canucks, for your eight remaining in the second period. Time of the shopping day for the goal for, Connor, for number eight, 1642, and a 1646, and a second period of the game. Oh, 
Vancouver goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 96, Andre Kuzmenko. Time of the goal for the Vancouver Canucks, 12.40 left to go in the, in the second. Time of the goal for the year for number 96, 7.49 remaining in the second period of the game. Vancouver goal, his first goal of the season, scored by number 81, Dakota Joshua. His first assist here by number 8, Connor Garland. And by number 23, Terry Bluebird. Time to goal for the Vancouver Canucks, 16-14 remaining in the second period of the game. Time for the goal for number 81, number 8, and number 23, 3-46 remaining in the second period of the game.
One minute remaining in the second period of the game. Vancouver goal, the second goal of the season, scored by number 96, Andre Kuzmenko. His first assist too, but second assist by number 8, Connor Garland, and by number 25, Elias Pedersen. Time of the goal, 19.55 remaining in the second period. With the time of the goal here by number 96, number 8, and number 25, 5.8 seconds in the second period of the game. And that's it. Second period is over. Third period is underway now. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. James Stavolsky ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, Pounder, we've played more than four minutes now on this one. How do you view things? The Canucks have been terrific tonight. And through 40 minutes of play, they hold a comfortable lead. And this is a great position for a coach and their staff to be in. And they can look down their bench and say, listen, we have to utilize our lineup here. All four lines, versatility, get them out there, and rest up players for the next game. Slides the puck to Rossi. Into the attacking end. Puts it up in. Fantastic save. Face off. The Canucks have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. Vancouver's got it in the defensive zone. Across the line from center. Great defensive effort with the stick. Nice solid entry from the right side. Sends the pass over. Gets a piece of the team. Cucarello's coming against the wall. 
exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Skates across the blue line. Fires it on net. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. Johansson's got the puck. And a little body contact on that play. And he takes the feed. Charlotte's been having himself a game, James. He's dancing all over the ice. He's got his legs underneath him. He's got four points in the game, and it has been a blowout so far. And he makes some saves now. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's through position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. tonight on the ice, and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Puck grab by Myers. Joshua's got it in the defensive end. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Stretches one out to Eric Zanek. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. There's a shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Sends it quickly to Polino. Gains the zone through center. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Slides it over with pace to Mobilier. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Take it along the wall by Hartman. Mobilier's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. Handles the pass. Fires it into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck behind the net. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Another stop. Moves it over to Beauvillier. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Eric Sinek. Sucarello's into the offensive zone now on the attack. He grabs the puck here at the point. And it goes off for stick it off to the side. Vancouver's got the puck. Tries to feed it over to Brodini. And he takes the pass. Denies him! Now a quick pass to Brodini. Assisted here by number 25, Elliot Brothershine, and by number 27, Bill Merrill. 
Tom to go for the Minnesota Wilds. Uh, 1443 remaining in the third period. Carol Grabisov score, number 87, number 82, and number 23, with only 845 remaining in the third period of the game. His first goal of the season scored by number 65, Elia Makayev. His first assist here by number 25, Elias Patterson, and by number 20, Quinn Goose. So I'm going to go for the Vancouver Canucks, 18-01 remaining in the third. Score here for the, for the Vancouver, number 65, along with the assist here by number 25, and number 20, 159 remaining in the third period of the game. 
Last minute remaining in the third period. That's the end of the game. Your final score for tonight's game, Vancouver Canucks 6 and Minnesota Wilds 2. Grants, thank you for joining us here for tonight's game. We would ask you to please get home safely and drive carefully. So much, JJ. A big upset of a nightmare run for the Minnesota Wilds. Looks like they're done. Yeah, done for the season right now. You can't win it all the whole thing. Three stars are on. Kuzmenko with two goals and five hits. The second star on the other side goes to Connor Garland with two goals, two assistant hits. Two of them at once. And then your first star player goes to Dr. Demko with 57 saves of a night. He turned great, and he just made a wild lucky run. Here's how I give it a tall statistics in between. The last one to turn to be in between of the total shots on goal, on between the others. There is definitely a lot of chances that they have been doing this lately, but the last time they've done this. Well, this is what happens now, because they were really been backing it up in between here. And there is no other way that they could try to slow it down, and they've been knocking it out. 60 out of 59 for the total hits, total shots on goal, that's a close one. 41 hits in between for the two teams, gonna be, have to be a high on takeout. 655 over 649, that's right now they had a time on attack to take out the Canucks. 91 percentage for the Vancouver Canucks and 92 percentage for the passing of Minnesota. 25 over 24 faceoff win for Vancouver. Penalty kill was Minnesota, and the power play goal was Vancouver with 1.30 on the clock. Well, I know that, because Vancouver Canucks, they've been a better team to play them before, and I'm thinking that it looks like Canadian teams are have a higher range than the American teams, because they have no other way to try to improve them all if they do it once again. Well, I can't even tell you, this was a hard one to take, and that was it. That was the last game of the season. I've been thinking this is the time that we are stepping into the postseason. Yeah, that's right, because that is totally it. So I hope you all enjoyed right now, but hey, don't leave your seat there, partner. I know we got some more games here. So you'll stick, stick around by the postseason of the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of NHL 24. That'll be our next part of the game that will be every game day and every night there will be three games only to keep your eyes on this steady. Because at that point there will be only three games for in between of the Eastern and Western Conference and some four games that we will be happy to see enough of what's going to happen here in between on the other side of the next day in day number two that will be under, on the other side of the way. And because of this point you will never know what will be faced up next so you'll find out soon enough to have that all and coming down and bound, and you'll find out who will take this win and get ready to move on to the second. Every game will be five games, and if there's a sudden death in between, well, there might be in between games six and seven, because there might be a one change off if necessary to have that tied and coming in to win for four. And that might be it, folks. I hope you all enjoyed your regular season, and I'll see you all here in the postseason of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. 
This is Terry Crews and Son of Beast, along with Jay Sabolski and Cheryl and Kara. We hope that you enjoyed your, our season of the NHL. Peace out, folks, for a while as the completion of the regular season of the NHL 24 on EA Sports Style. And if you're ready for postseason, it's coming underway next, so stay tuned for that. See you folks next time, everybody. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, hit the comment below, and hit the notification bell. It is the best way to support for my channel. And I hope you all enjoyed it. And be sure to leave a fox here for the next video that you'll be able to see right on him in between. And follow him on the social media. X, Instagram, and TikTok. Link to the about page. See you folks next time. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.